Hey guys, Kevin Miney with uh, the Home Run Team Media XP here with installment four of our four part series on real estate investing. The first three parts, the first was short term rentals, which is the Airbnb VRBOs. Second one was longer term rentals. Uh, third was flipping. This one is financing options to get those deals done. So in financing rental, rental property or flips, you've got several options. Um, with rental property, it's a little bit easier. Most mortgage companies have a rental product that they do. Um, FHA even has a, has a rental product they'll loan on. The difference between that and a regular mortgage, a normal mortgage, you're going to put three to five percent down. You're going to get, you know, whatever the premium rate is. With real estate investing property, with when you get, you know, a property for a rental loan, you're going to pay a little bit more in interest. Usually it's a half a point to a point above what you get traditional mortgage. Um, I've seen them this last year very close to mortgage rates, but normally they're a little bit higher. The second thing is the down payment is much larger. A down payment on a rental property is going to be 20 to 25%, whereas again with the mortgage, it's usually 3 to 5%. The reason for that is lenders just think there's more risk in loaning on rental property. People move heaven and earth to keep their house if things go south. If they go south for them financially, they're more quickly um, likely to let a rental property go back to the bank. So they see that as a higher risk. That risk is expressed in higher interest rates and bigger down payments. So, so most mortgage companies, if you have a relationship with one, they'll have a rental product. There are also some specialty lenders that do them. Um, in terms of flips, it's a little bit different animal. Um, mortgage companies don't mind doing loans for rental property because they hold the, the loan tends to be a longer term, 15 years, 20 years, 30 years. So they can make their money back on interest over that timeline. With flips, you normally try to be in and out of that property in three or four months if possible, no longer than six um, on the outside. And there's just not, you just don't have the money long enough for mortgage companies to make any money on the loan. Um, it costs them too much to do the loan with processing, et cetera. So, um, so mortgage companies typically won't do those. There is another lending source. Again, some lenders that are, um, especially lenders do loans for them, but most, most commonly what you're gonna find is they're done with uh, what's called hard money. Um, hard money is typically fairly easy to get because they're loaning on the house, not on your credit. So if, if the after repaired value is a of a house is say, you know, a hundred thousand dollars, usually what the hard money guys are going to loan is maybe 60 or 70 on it. So their thought is, look, we're loaning 60 on a house that's worth a good bit more. So they're not so worried about your credit because if you get hit by a truck or don't pay them, they just take the house back and they've got a house worth more than what they loaned on. Um, so hard money is not terribly hard to get. The problem is it's very expensive. Hard money usually is on the order of somewhere between, I've seen it as low as eight or 10%, but normally you're looking at more 12 up to 18% and above. Um, again, it's easy to get, um, but again, the risk there is expressed in higher interest rates. Now they do have some terms that can be user friendly. They can be interest only payments for the, the time that you have them. So you're not paying your principal off. So you get the hard money loan, buy the house, renovate it, sell it. While you're holding the money, you're only paying interest payments, not principal payments. So that can be a little bit more user friendly. Then when you sell the house, you pay off the loan. There's also a combination uh, that people will do where they're trying to get a property that they've got to get quickly. They'll use hard money to acquire the property that they're gonna use for a rental. And then as soon as the house is done, get a traditional product to cash out that hard money and get into a 20 or 30 year loan. Um, again, with usually a, 50, a 20 or 25% down. So any questions you have about this, this is just a flyover, please let us know. You can, um, if you wanna see the other blogs, uh, just check out our blog, you'll see them there. If you wanna talk, dig deeper on this kind of stuff, find out more about rental property or flipping or financing options for those things, be happy to sit down with you guys, have a cup of coffee or buy you lunch. Um, just reach out to us, be happy to do that anytime. Hope you hope this has been helpful to you guys. Um, you guys have a wonderful day.